All right. Yay for me! Someone else in the press says I don't suck. Yay! I thought I would make a video because, yay! Eric Kane at Forbes listed me as, like, the one positive, like, not shitty article about, well, video anyway, about the study with Halo 3 players about frequency of negative comments towards men and women. Here I am dead at the bottom. Yay! See, it's worth a listen. I don't suck. I don't suck. Well, of course, you know, Eric can only comment on this particular kind of sucking. He has no idea how I suck in other things. Feel free to make that as dirty as you want because I am in a good mood. But I decided to do some work for Eric here because he said something nice about me. So uh, that's not the only reason I did it. A, a paragraph in the article made me very curious. His alternate theories for the results these uh, scientists found. And, and I thought he made a good point, so I decided to do some digging. It would, um, you know, I would also argue that saying more negative things around women does not necessarily equal sexism unless those things are overtly sexist, which the study does not claim. It may mean that some men feel more comfortable expressing their frustration around women than around men. Perhaps they are more likely to act tough around other men or, as the study suggests, be more submissive around other mean, m mean men. This doesn't mean they're more or less sexist. Well, I did some digging and... There's some evidence that Eric is right, which is very exciting to me. I, I like, you know, people that don't think, that think I don't suck saying things that turn out to be right, because that means it's more likely they're right about me not sucking. Um, I found um, two, two things to verify that there, there may be more going on here than, than just uh, run-of-the-mill sexism. One was a paper from 2000 about emotional expressions online. You can see that gender difference in emoticon use. And this is really small. Let me make this bigger. Why didn't I boost this? Yeah, you're making, you're, you're watching me make something grow. Go ahead and make that dirty too. So this paper I found, um, they studied emoticon use way back in 2000, back when emoticons were a new thing. But once again, uh, I, I look for papers that have been cited by other papers a fair amount because that implies, you know, they've, they've um, been sort of accepted by the scientific community. And this is a, a psychology paper. It's not a sociology paper for those of you who care. Um, but the interesting thing about this study is that they found a pattern of change in emotional expression for both genders when they moved from a predominantly same gender group to a mixed gender group, which backs up Eric's, Eric's theory. So the changes that take place in emoticon use when moving from same gender to mixed gender news groups indicate that rather than the emotional expression of females being silent, silence or muted by male encoding of emoticons, males adopt the female standard of expressing more emotion. Furthermore, women have added dimensions, including solidarity, support, assertion of positive feelings, and thanks, which are absent from the male created definition of emoticons and their use. So this implies that, that Eric's theory is absolutely right, that men express more emotion around women but that that emotion tends to be negative. So one point in Eric's column, but I also found another interesting paper. Um, again, this, this was the most cited paper from the search. Um, it has to do with the uh, impact of negative emotional expression of leaders among you know, as, as, as we'll call it, lower status participants. And I think this is interesting as well, because it's possible that, that leaders, you know, people who are high ranking in a game, people who don't suck, feel a greater responsibility to set a good example. And they, this says that this is true, that negative emotional display has a significant negative effect on other participants when they see it in leaders. That's very interesting to me because it's possible that the higher ranking members of a game community feel a greater responsibility to sort of suck it up buttercup, right? 
Uh, interestingly, as an aside, male leaders receive lower effectiveness ratings when expressing sadness compared to neutrality. And we all know how much I love neutrality, right, guys? Um, while female leaders receive lower ratings when expressing either sadness or anger. Um, so we have two papers backing up Eric's theory that, you know, there, there might be something other than just simple sexism going on here. I mean, th this certainly means that gender is a factor, but one of the things I like to do on this YouTube channel is show people that, that gender influence is much more than simply, you're sexist. Or you're an ally. We all know how much I hate the term ally. So once again, it looks like somebody that thinks I don't suck is right. And I like this. And let's just look at the, the other, the, the praise, you know. I have some interesting thoughts. Yay. And I told Eric, I'm stealing this orange is the new black example of a grieved entitlement because it's freaking brilliant. It's just perfect. Like he mentions uh, Sam Healy, but the whole show could, you know, basically be that. It's all about hierarchy and all about social order. And when people start to, you know, get get busted down because of a new kid in town, well, tampons end up in hamburgers, right? You know, it's nasty, but it's true. So Eric Kane is smart. And he thinks I don't suck. So this is a good day. And yeah, I'm being a complete goof about this. But, you know, I just wanted... He 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 was praiseworthy of my work, which I greatly appreciate. So, you know, I, I'm not sure I wouldn't have done a video if I found out he was wrong. But it makes me happy that I could make a video saying he was right. So there you go, Eric. There's a, there's a bit of backup to your theory from the scientific community, and there's 15 years of references on, on these papers. So I think he's on the right track, and I love stuff like this. I love taking a more nuanced, less, you know, you know, reductive, overly simplified approach to gender and tech, and it's, it's great when people can work together to get some answers here. And this is the wonderful thing about you know, not having knee-jerk reactions to these papers because, you know, I had an idea and he's like, oh, people should read this idea. And then I looked at what he did and went, huh, this is an interesting theory. Let's test this theory. And we've moved the dialogue forward. This is what happens when people collaborate instead of just criticize or collude. It's amazing what happens when people do that, isn't it? Yay, science!